Hello, Luigi Tramontana here from Craft Animations. I am going to show you the four-wheeler extended on this four-wheel vehicle here. And remember, I'm in Maya right now, but it doesn't matter if you're a Max user, if you're an XSI user, if you're a Cinema 4D user, it doesn't matter. This is our own interface. If you can scale, rotate, move stuff, and link or parent or make something a child of another, depending on your jargon here, that's all you have to know to actually rig something and then drive and animate that stuff in any of those software programs. And it works the same in Macintosh, it works the same in Linux. So don't be afraid that we're a Maya here, it doesn't matter. Bear with me. In the second part, I will actually do the rest in 3ds Max just to show that it's exactly the same there. Now let's start rigging this uh, little fellow here. So we go into the vehicles here and we create a four-wheeler extended instance like that. And what does this system now create for us? Well, it creates a bone system. And I'm saying system here because this is a simulation animation system. And that's because better than 50% of the workflow and the functionalities are embedded in the system. So these are not just plugins, they are add-ons to our Craft Director Studio. This is an add-on to this system. And then we just have a little adapter that communicates with Maya and 3ds Max and all other stuff that we have ported to. So that's why it's a system. And this is an add-on to that system, as I said. And it creates a bone system here for not a humanoid, obviously, but a car character. So what do we do with the bone system? We adjust it to the character. So let's do that. We put the bottom plates there in place. We scale it. And you see, I use uniform scale here, and that is important for one simple reason that we decided on a while ago, that we have cameras that are children of this main body here. This would mean, if I started to, to um, scale this non-uniformly, all of the views of these cameras would be just skewed and weird. So we just decided that, no, the main body should be uniformly scaled, However, the, all the other parts are just to scale non-uniformly, however you like. So I press F here and let's have a look at the wheel bone now. It contains three different objects. The wheel center suspension mesh, the wheel center mesh and the wheel itself. So we move everything in concert together with this wheel relocator mesh because we need all those parts in this side. And this high poly mesh, I have just uh, centered the pivot of that. And then I use this nice little script in 3ds Max, no problem, you have the align tool there. So, but in Maya, we don't have pivot to pivot aligning here for some reason. So meanwhile, before that is created in Maya, we just go in here and drag and drop this selected text into the shelf here and uh, choose it to be a mail script and uh, then we use it like this select the relocator and just click the script shift select this one okay click shift select click select shift select click select shift select click like that so now we have all the wheels aligned what we want to do now is to select all the wheels because we need to scale them to fit the character we want to animate. Remember? So like that and uh, we take the scaling and we scale it down a little bit like that. Okay, that's good. And then sideways we could scale it a little bit in sideways before, because this is definitely not necessary that it's uniform. And uh, the rear wheels are a little wider, so we need to scale them like that. Nice. Okay, so now we have fitted the wheels. And uh, one thing that you can notice here is this little angle. And this is very important. You should rotate this one if you have another angle, because our system here doesn't have a suspension system. But if yours have, then this angle is important, because this is how all cars are built 
because you you want the steering wheel to automatically be straight when you let go of the steering wheel and you don't get wobbling things when you have the suspension system like this now the brake caliper here we want to attach that one to to this wheel center mesh here because we don't want it to rotate with the wheel but we get to that soon we have one more little curiosity actually to to take care of here which is the the uh, the steering wheel here I won't do this very thoroughly I would just move it in place like that yeah so you would do this 10,000 times better than me like that so now we have fixed everything so that it's aligned and scaled correctly the next thing to do then when the bone system is in place is to skin the character now skinning would be totally meaningless in this case why is that well we have these parts that are not interacting with each other because they are rigid parts so we don't have to take care of, we, we could skin it but that wouldn't make any sense so we decided how would we skin this the easiest way well we just make it a child of the bone that way it just follows it so that's what we're going to do here in Maya we call it parenting in 3ds you call it linking so it's select and shift select and I parent it now I'll just press P in the continuation here I grab the caliper and I parent it with P that and that parent it and you could use uh, parent constraint here but uh, the problem with parent constraint is simply that uh, the parent constraint won't allow you to hide the high poly objects I will show you that soon uh, that is necessary in Maya in 3ds Max you can just reference objects uh, the whole if you save the scene you can just reference it into the scene that's fine in Maya you can just reference this scene uh, directly into the uh, the scene that you want to do instead you need to reference this model I would do it like this I would take this empty scene and I would reference this model into this empty scene and then I would rig it and I think you actually need the parent constraint here so you would, wouldn't be able to do that so keep it as a proxy instead if you want the high poly parts to be uh, visible and then uh, you would import this scene into that scene where you want to use this car now that's the workflow in Maya uh, for the time being I don't know about containers and stuff I haven't tried them out yet but maybe they will work just fine now the main body here I would skin to this 99% of the time I would just skin it to this one however if you want to do additional animations to this mesh I would just parent it to this one instead because then you can grab the whole thing here and just animate it relative to this body mesh after you have simulated that could be a good thing if you want to do strange funny stuff with it so I just linked to this chassis relocator mesh and the last thing we do is to parent this one to the steering wheel bone like that now we have skinned the character nice right and the next thing we do here is to choose the correct physics for this particular car and uh, that is very actually we have one more thing if you want to add a camber angle well then you do it now after you have skinned it so you grab this relocator mesh and you just rotate it so we rotate this one say uh, two degrees to the right like that because camera angle is also very important and uh, we take that one two degrees there now now we have the the whole thing here parented I obviously did something weird that yeah I put on some smoothing it doesn't matter so the next thing we do here is uh, simply to uh, choose from a profile because if you want to start off somewhere you should start off in the vicinity of that so let's choose you have many different uh, presets here as you see and uh, we choose sports car here and it sets it up so that it's very close to being a sports car and uh, the next thing we do here is simply to bind there are three ways of steering a, a vehicle one is with this cross here then it uh, you attach it to a motion path or something 
or you just use an input device which I will choose here you can double click on the keyboard or you can double click on the gamepad and all of these things I will show in the next tutorial thank you